Hey YouTube, it's your boy D7 here, and like I promised, when I got a working version of Snowbreeze, I would shoot the video, so here I am. Now this is major news to anyone with an iPhone 3GS old boot ROM. Um, this is the first jailbreak that's compatible with 3.1.3 firmware for iPhone 3GS old boot ROM users. So huge props to the I Hate Snow dev team. They've beaten uh, Muscle Nerd and Red Snow to the post on this one. So again, huge props. Now all the downloads that you need are in the video description link over here where it says please read. You will have a download for the firmwares and you will have a download for Snowbreeze. Now this is compatible with iPhone 2G and 3G but I shot a video a while back or a couple of days back with Red Snow already um, doing that jailbreak so really this is more of a big deal for iPhone 3GS old boot ROM users so that's what I'm going to um, focus on today and show you how to do this on your iPhone 3GS the other great news about this is it preserves your baseband because you're making a custom firmware IPSW which means if you're an 0511 baseband it's unlockable by Black Snow or you'll be able to preserve that baseband and again use Black Snow so not only is this a jailbreak but this is an unlock as well which is great news for iPhone 3GS users old boot ROM iPhone 3GS users can't stress that enough so um, let's go through this step by step. So the first thing you're going to need to do is download the 3.1.3 firmware to your desktop and of course download the Snowbreeze uh, to your desktop and we're going to select to run this as administrator. Um, another thing that I forgot to go, uh, let you guys know that um, I Hate Snow will update Snowbreeze to be compatible with iPod Touches and when he's updated that I will update the link and I'll put a date so you know it's been updated. So we want to click next and we want to select expert mode, click next and we want to then browse for the 3.1.3 firmware that should be saved on your desktop. Then we want to let it do its thing. Okay and you will get another pop up warning you that if you do have the updated boot ROM this will not work for you guys okay so this is purely for the iPhone 3GS old boot ROM users okay so we click I understand and then we're going to click next now we want to tick general then we want to click next um, we can set our root partition which I normally set to a thousand so I'm going to do that thousand um, I'm not going to activate the phone because I have a legit SIM so again guys if you're not running on the legit SIM you are going to want to activate the phone I'm on O2 um, so I can activate through iTunes okay um, I do suggest that you add Snowbreeze iPhone app and we are ready to continue so we want to click next okay again I do not need to unlock so I don't need to select these um, if you are on 3G or 3GS you are going to want to select this which is Black Snow and if you're on iPhone 2G you're going to want to select Boot Neuter and I will have the bin files for you guys if you're using Snowbreeze to um, jailbreak and unlock again that will be in the video description so I don't need either of those so I'm going to click next I'm going to stick with Cydia I'm not going to install Rock and I'm not going to add any apps I'm going to change the boot logos and we're going to click next okay when you come back to the main menu we want to click on build IPSW and then we want to click next and it will start to build our custom firmware now guys this might take a few minutes so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come back when it's just about finished okay guys okay guys so we're done we've made our firmware so we can click next and then we can exit out of Snowbreeze software now on your desktop you will have a new software, custom software, uh, custom IPSW, sorry guys, um, and it will be named entitled Snowbreeze, then iPhone 3GS 3.1.3. Now, this is how we will implement that into our device. Of course, I have my iPhone 3GS, 
um, connected via USB, ready to go. Um, I now need to open up iTunes. And of course we don't want to do the update, so I'm going to cancel there. Select the device. So what we want to do on restore, we want to click shift, left mouse button. Okay, so shift, left mouse click together. Okay guys, so I'm just going to put the camera down. Okay guys, so now we've shift, left click we can now roam for our custom firmware which is saved to our desktop now you want to select the snow breeze entitled uh, IPSW so and I'll show you my device as it's loading the IPSW so you can see exactly what's happening Okay guys, so I'm just going to wait for it to uh, reboot. Okay, and it's of course asking me to connect to my iTunes because I am running on the legit SIM. So I'm just going to plug it back in. And I'm going to activate my phone through iTunes because of course I'm on the legit SIM card. Okay guys, so we are now jailbroken on 3.1.3 firmware with Snowbreeze. We have Cydia, we have the Snowbreeze application. If I click in settings, um, general, and about, you can see that I am running on 3.1.3 firmware and my baseband is preserved 0511. So I can unlock it if I wanted to with Black Snow, but I have um, chosen to go with my legit SIM card and activated it through iTunes. Okay, guys. Well, thank you for watching. Uh, don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe. Snowbreeze is by far my favorite jailbreak to date. Well, it's the only one for iPhone 3GS users, so I guess that's the way to go. Um, I will catch you guys real soon. I hope the video helped. Guys, leave a comment if you need any added help, but it's pretty simple. See you guys later.